Hey boys and girls, it's 8-Bit Eric. Today we're going to check out Sleep Tight on the Nintendo Switch. This was a game that came out probably a couple months ago. Um, a lot of friends I know really liked it. A lot of my friends really enjoyed it. I haven't gotten to try it out. So today we're going to take a look at Sleep Tight. I'm going to let you guys know my initial thoughts, my impressions of it, and whether I think it's a game that you would like to pick. Now, I already skipped the tutorial. I played it actually a little bit on PC back at E3 weekend, and yeah, uh, really had a blast. Actually, CMD had a party that basically was promoting Sleep Tight uh, a while back. He filmed a video for it and everything. It seemed pretty cool. Um, I look forward to getting my hands on it. So, basically, it's a twin stick shooter that has you playing as a kid Dodge in the this. middle of the night. Um, Monsters are coming. So that's that's the basic premise. So it's cute, it's quaint. Um, so far, you use the left stick to move around. The right stick will do your aiming, and the ZR trigger shoots. Nothing too out of the ordinary as far as controls go. I'm digging the graphics too. Very cute Pixar animated um, style. I would guess I would compare that. I think you're able to use the foreground and stuff um, to set up a base. So let's let's do this. So yeah. So there's sets up a base. So you basically could make a whole base, which seems cool. And then you could buy power ups. Let's uh let's do extra damage. That's active three nights. Uh, research. So yeah, there's a lot of a lot of good stuff, so let's 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 do that. Um, power ups. Nope. Oh, I don't think I have enough stuff. So that's that's neat. Oh shit. I wasn't ready for night two, but I guess, I guess I'm gonna do it now. Knock him out of the park. These guys look like some evil Mike Wazowski's. Mike Wazowski. Where's he coming from? There we go. So I survived night one. Oh, so gravy. Let's see how far we can get. Oh my god. My Lanta. <laughs> Alright, so so far so good, right? I mean it's only day two though. I'm assuming different types of enemies come out and this game gets a little bit more rowdy. Peanut butter but jelly jelly. I think it's pretty well produced. I could see this getting a physical release since it seems to be a, a higher quality ED game. So let's go ahead. Come here. Right. And, I, and I really enjoy the influx of indies that are. Oh shoot. I was low on ammo. I am so glad. I guess. Buy ammo. Oh, I got six. Let's see, what can I do? Okay, don't look like I... Oh, there we go. I got a power-up. I need more of that. Um, activate. Can I build another wall? Let's build a wall. I have no idea what I'm doing or if that was even a wise Not placement this time. wall. Since it's in the middle. Man, my guy's fast now. Look at that. <laughs> so initial impression, I, I think it's a very quick game to uh, to basically figure out the gist of it, how it works. I like that there's strategy elements with fortifying your area. Um, I like that between rounds you can stock up on ammo, uh, gain power-ups. Speaking of stocking up on ammo, uh, I'm dead. I guess I need to just uh, survive the night. <laughs> Damn. I am completely out of ammo, guys, as you can see, so I'm just running away as the enemies basically take over the screen. Oh, shoot. What's that? Oh my god. Look at all this. Come on. Survive the night. I I'm digging it. Um, very cool idea. I know there's a lot of twin stick shooters out there, especially in the indies. Um, but this one, this one uh, has definitely got my attention, just because I think it's 
well put together. Let me buy a whole bunch of ammo. Ugh, I spent everything I had right there on that. Out of my okay, room. so let's, let's conserve. Well, I mean, you can't attack and conserve unless you need these things in order to have, uh... Oh, shit. Gee, golly. Miss me all. I really like the graphical presentation of this game as well. I'm pretty impressed. Um, I, like I said, I mentioned I played this a little bit on PC at uh, C&D's party. Um, but other than that, I don't have too much experience. I just know that a lot of production and care went into this game. Especially just for promotional purposes at E3. So, I, I'm digging it. Oh wow, were these like ghost dogs? So maybe there's a strategy later on where you don't buy anything between rounds, and it, it helps you uh, gain. I gotta research. Let's research. Oh, where's the research? All right. Let's look up weapons. Um, let's go ahead and. Oh, no, I spent my money on ammo scavenging. Okay, so we're good. We're good. How do I begin the night? Health. Power ups. It's by health. Okay, let's see if we can do it now. It's pretty neat, I'm not gonna lie. And of course, it looks like there's different characters and stuff you can unlock. Alright, so we're on night five. Bam! Shit. It is a little dark. Especially on the edges to see uh, where the enemies are at, but I'm digging it. I know I keep saying I'm digging it. Let's 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 keep going. So I, I'm a big fan of these games that take classic, you know, memories and feelings of childhood, like monsters in your room, monsters in your bed, creepy neighbors across the street. Big fan of that. How they play into um, a creative situation like this, like sleep tight, um, very adorable in my opinion. The fact that you know the toys and the the walls, and the weapons and the power ups, everything is just so innocent in this game. It's a nice breather, a change of pace for me compared to you know games that are speed. more yes, violent. Please. Look at this, I unlocked a new character, former go kart racer, looking for the next rush. That's awesome. So, is there a way to switch your characters? Can you switch it? I think maybe that's just when you have a different round. Alright, so let's go ahead and buy more ammo. You need ammo, right? The walls, I could see where they come in handy. Uh, I could appreciate the walls, uh, but <clears throat> for now, I think powering up and doing research and stuff is what uh, is key for my character. And I think I really can't do anything right now with what I got. So let's just let's just start by some health. Okay, why, why isn't the night starting? Okay, I guess you gotta run out of those suns, whatever you have, in order to make the night go. I, I, I have no clue how that works, but I did it. So it looks like there's sun points and star points, and those factor into your upgrades and your power ups and what happens between rounds. I think I had to use all my sun power up, my sun points, in order to make the next night start, I guess. I'm, I'm not entirely, entirely sure, but I figured it out. Oh man, they're coming out now. Holy shit. And you know, I really like games like this just because they're arcadey feel. Um, I think they're, they're pretty neat. You know, 
I'm, I'm a sucker for arcade games. And, and this is just basically like a high score um, type of game, you know. Night seven, guys. I am a night seven. So let's just see how far we can get, right? Let's see what my my best high score will be as far as this game goes. Coming out as fast as they were last round, I'll tell you that much. Last round was insane. and power-ups. Nope. Has to be some stuff I can do for research. All-stars. Okay. Let's... I really don't think I need uh, any of the forts. Oh, man. My guy is quick. You see that? I don't think I need any of the forts and the fortification stuff, the walls, turrets. Oh, my God. I think I spoke too soon. Did you see how huge that sucker was? My Atlanta. Holy crap. Get out of my way, dude. Get. 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 Is that all you got? Jesus. Oh. I hope I don't see another one of those big scary dudes, because that dude was giant enormous. Get out of my way. Get. These guys are super fast. Look at this. 360 degrees, no scope. Alright. Oh, I think this might be it. I think this might be it. No, I, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. Ain't no round too hard for 8 bit Eric. My rods are pathetic, generic, barbaric. Let's do that. Okay. Don't look like I got enough for anything else. I would like to get some more weapons, but what can you do, right? What what can you do? Okay, let's buy some ammo and call it night night. Oh shit, I got it. Peanut in butter oh, jelly God. jelly. These guys ain't wasting no time. Shh! Holy crap, Ola! These guys ain't wasting no time, dude! Wow! Alright, let's, let's, let's do it. Come on! Why does my gun feel like it's inferior now? Like, my bullets aren't as hard as I could. Oh shit, big guy. Got ya. Got ya, bitch! Thought that was the end for me, but I guess my health is doing alright. I look like I have a full health bar, right? The, the red around me. I have a, a shield also, so I guess that's that's helping a lot. I might be here long, longer than I anticipated. Knock him out of the park. There we go. Blood Moon tonight. Uh oh. Is that a warning? Let's, let's, let's do the burst rifle. I think that might be a warning, guys. It's a blood moon. Alright, let's start. Got a new weapon. Oh shit. Got a new weapon. Let's see if I can last. The blood moon rises again. Like Princess Zelda would say. 
damn, this weapon is this weapon's legit. Not gonna lie. Oh shh. Knock it out. Oh my gosh. Come on. Oh, so gravy. Yeah. Oh my god. I got sandwiched. And I like sandwiches. <laughs> Not like that. They're actually giving me some harm this round. This round. I'll give you that much. Come on. Alright. Keep it up. Keep it up. Not too hard. Screw your blue moon. Your, your blood. Blood moon. So I guess blood moon is more like a challenge nine or something. That makes you uh, have a little bit more of a challenge. So that's. I, I'm, I'm, you know, it's creative. Oh, oh my god. They're coming at me. Not this time. Alright. Whew. I did it. Alright. Let's see. What do I have? Do that. Okay, uh, so there is a lot of different options, power ups, things that you can do in this game. 9 11? I, I didn't think I was gonna last you this far. Me. I'm very excited. <laughs> So yeah, to talk about the game again real quick to give you guys my impression, this is actually a real neat little twin stick shooter that feels solid, it plays solid, the controls are great, um, easy to pick up and play, I can see myself playing this non-stop for hours like, like I am now, I'm gonna, I could probably be here all freaking day just playing sleep tight. Uh, I think it has a cute little premise, it's a neat little game, uh, I'm very, uh, very, very much enjoying checking out this game. So I, I, oh my god, I just died. <laughs> wow. So yeah, guys, unlockables, different content, research, upgrades. There's a lot to this game. Um, that was really, really fun. So I, I highly recommend checking it out. I do think Sleep Tight is definitely worth checking out possibly buying on the switch i would like to see this come out physically actually so guys that's it for today's video thanks a lot for watching i will see you guys next video have a great day peace out